Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So we got a little Ripple news latest update today. And of course, it's time to pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. So we'll be back in a bit. All right, real quick, if you're new here, um, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Um, I give away Bitcoin every Friday today, um, so don't worry about it if you think uh, you won't get another chance because I'll be doing it again next week. All right, guys? So real quick before we get into the news, uh, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, all right? So we'll do the news real quick, we'll do the drawing, and then we'll see what my rigs did last week. Be back on a bit. All right, so Ripple News right here. Uh, Ripple CEO Chris Larson says they have signed hundreds of banks in production mode. Uh, Chris Larson, the co-founder of Ripple, spoke to Cheddar regarding the current state of Ripple. He also spoke about the competition that Ripple is facing and their progress towards signing banks. Larson stated that it was good that the companies were focusing on solving for cross-border payment problems as they have been doing so for four years. He stated that this area would have the highest impact and that it would also be a killer app for the whole blockchain movement. Uh, he went on to say, we've been at it a bit longer than anybody. What matters is what corridors you have, the number of partners. We've got hundreds of banks, payment providers, remittance companies, uh, not just in experimentation mode, but in full production mode. Speaking about regulatory environments worldwide, Larson stated that they see great traction in areas such as Southeast Asia, Japan, and Korea. He also spoke about Ripple's movements in the Middle East as they were signing almost one partnership every week. He also mentioned countries such as India and spoke about how Europe was moving forward. He went on to say, we're seeing the world light up. The U.S. is obviously very important in that dollar clearing. We feel great about the progress we've made with American Express, and we've got some other partners that we're really excited about. Uh, many investors and cryptocurrency enthusiasts have been against the lack of regulatory clarity given to cryptocurrencies. However, Larson stated that it was the best fintech environment in the history of the country. Went on to say, this administration gets that fintech and innovation is as important as supporting the big guys. And the big guys in fintech can actually work together to accelerate the progress. We've, we're very bullish on the US regulatory system under this administration. Uh, I think the regulators are taking a thoughtful approach. On whether XRP would make a comeback in price, Larson spoke about what gives a digital asset value. According to him, the asset needs to be serving an actual use case. So he's right on that. Uh, barring which it would just be speculation. Uh, goes on to say, over the long run of it's, it's going to be a combination of deep liquidity market makers. More importantly, it has to have a use case. The use case of XRP Ledger and XRP, the digital asset, is fully around initially reducing the cost of liquidity for cross-border payments. However, he gave a clear answer when he stated, uh, long term, uh, we think it's clear winner in this race to be another digital asset for the world for all use cases. It's a long-term play. You can't just be the store of value for the sake of being a store of value. That's very true. You actually have to have a use case. Um, so he gets it. He was also asked about the information regarding centralization of XRP's ledger to Ripple. He dismissed the idea off bats, stating that it was bogus and the naysayers should look at the facts. He went on to say that 7% of the validators on the network were run by Ripple and that XRP ledger would function even if Ripple did not exist tomorrow. He finally states some would argue uh, even more so given the proof of work leads to more centralization, as you're seeing with Bitmain and China. It's got a point there. Uh, consensus systems become more and more decentralized. You see a lot of nonsense and FUD out there. Look at the facts, and it's pretty clear. So 
good news for Ripple. Keep working behind the scenes, get more and more banks on board, even though that kind of goes against, I guess, the point of um, cryptocurrency. They're trying to get away from the banks, but, you know, the banks are going to have their say in the end, period. This is, this is the way it is with these bankers. Um, so, anyways, let's get over. Let's Here's the enter to win video. Let's copy this URL. Let's head over to the YouTube comment picker, paste that in, all right, so let me move here, let's click search, 405 unique comments, all right, let's scroll down. Again, guys, if you don't win, don't worry about it. Um, I do this every week. Also, next week, I will be having a, um, a different way I do it, I think, to make it a little more fair. But uh, we'll get to that next Wednesday. So good luck, everybody, and let's pick a winner. Roland De La Cruz, very interesting. All right, Roland, copy your address. Congrats. Let's pull up my Exodus wallet. Looks good. Being sent. All right, Roland, congrats. If you could um, comment down below that you did, in fact, receive the Bitcoin, I would appreciate it. Okay? So... Finally, let's go in, check what my rigs did last week, which they really didn't do much because of the down market. 2110 final stats last week, down 16% over the previous week. Uh, ended with a total value mine of 553.10, down from 576.32. Uh, beginning of the week, I was up actually $54. You know, I was at like 620 something. 628, I think it was, something like that. Now we're down to 553, so we ended up losing $23 total value mined. Uh, we did get 3,559 stellite, uh, a little over a Haven coin, a little over uh, an Ethereum, and then we started mining uh, Monero and converting it to Bitcoin. So it is what it is in this current market. Uh, so far this week, 586 to light, about a dollar with a Bitcoin. It's, you know, it's only been maybe half a day since these stats have updated. So total value mine is pretty much the same. I haven't updated the numbers yet. Um, not looking good, though. Looking like it's going to be another down week already. But, of course, I do have this rigs down a card. Uh, I was supposed to get my new motherboard in yesterday but it actually arrived today so i'll probably get that installed up and working sometime soon hopefully tonight if not uh tomorrow okay guys um again roland let us know down below that you did in fact receive the bitcoin i'd appreciate it um with that guys i guess that's going to be it for today thank uh going to be it for today thanks for watching and um spread the word guys i would appreciate it if you liked the video give it a thumbs up i appreciate that as well all right guys i will see you in the next one bye